Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Crews with Highway District 12 are spending time this week removing signs illegally installed on state property across the district's seven-county area. This week we're having what we call our uh, spring sign blitz. We do this a couple times a year, every year, um, in advance of our mowing season. Crews are actively traveling state-maintained roads this week, both two lanes and four lanes, to make sure the illegal signs are removed. The only signs that are supposed to be on state right away are state signs. Um, the signs that tell you how many miles it is to a town or signs up for speed limits or tourism signs, that sort of thing. And although many of the signs being taken up are political, those aren't the only ones being targeted for removal. It's not specifically because of political signs. The signs interfere with mowing, they interfere with litter pickup. Uh, some of them, particularly at intersections, cause sight distance problems. It's a safety concern. George says anyone who has mistakenly put a sign on state property and crews have to remove it, it is not lost forever. We, we realize that people have put a lot of money and effort into um, having these signs manufactured and, and putting them up. Uh, we could just destroy them um, because they're there illegally to start with, but we don't do that. We take them to the nearest maintenance garage and we will keep them for 30 days so that people can come and pick them up. Although the sign removal blitz only lasts through this week, crews are instructed to remove illegal signs on state right-of-way all year long. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.